Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, we last left off here in the Conjurer's Guild, and we are about to uh, resume our class questline and continue the main story questline back at... Uh, I can't remember the name of the place, but we'll find it. Anyways, let's get on with the show. Uh, AC me in. It is good to see you again, Elric. By the air of serenity that surrounds you, it is plain that you have learned to draw upon the energy of creation. I am glad it is the wellspring of all our power, yet the energy of creation is not one thing but many, and to call upon all without first knowing each is conjury at its most basic. As a part of your continuing education, it is my desire that you now learn about the element of Earth. Make your way to the Blessed Bud in the North Shroud, and there partake of Hera Nolanel's wisdom. The depth of his affinity for the elementals of rock and soil is all but unique amongst other conjurers, and he's a gifted instructor besides. You may be certain of receiving a most enlightening lesson on the subject of Earth. Okay, so we need to go and see uh, Nolanel in Blessed Bud. Alright, um, so we're just going to head up here, use the Aphrite to get back to the plaza from which I should be able to get blessed, but I believe all I'm not 100% sure if I've got a uh, Aphrite crystal there or not. Oops, and we've ran straight past it. <laughs> now, as I say, I'm not sure I've got any uh, outside uh, crystals linked to this one yet, but if I do, I'll be able to use that to get back a lot quicker. Uh, Ethernet? Uh, no, it does not like we do. Okay, we'll just be running. Um, a very brief announcement uh, while I'm at it. Uh, Final Fantasy XV, the car mount from that game, uh, is due to be released on, I believe it was the 13th of September, only a couple of days away from uh, when this video should be going out. Uh, there's a main quest line that you need to follow to get that, and you'll be able to buy a uh, mount of the car at the Gold Saucer. Oh, uh, there's one of our hunt and load targets, but he's already dead. Let's see if we can grab, grab these while we're on our way, because, uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, is he going to count him as he's purple? Well, let's have a look. He did, yes. Alright. Just a little bit of extra uh, bonus experience if you uh, complete the hunt and log stuff. Uh, ladybug. You'll have to excuse me if my voice is a little bit off today. I think I've uh, started getting a tiny bit of a cold and my nose is ever so slightly congested. Oh, that was the last of the ladybugs that we needed. Uh, anything? Oh no, it wasn't great. Hang on. <laughs> How many more did we need? Uh, oh, we need dull free them. <laughs> right. Squish these little things. Uh, oh, it looks like that level up there. Uh, give me a new spell. Uh, sleep. Pretty standard stuff just there. Uh, puts a dog to sleep. As soon as it gets uh, damaged, it'll wake up again and start attacking people again. Roll actions. Uh, let's see. You're assigned to all classes within a row. Mainly DPS. I'll learn in the same manner as I can about via leveling. Uh, yeah. So, stuff like that, you just press P, bring up that menu. And then this here, roll. That ability I will be able to use on any other class, or so, uh, in this case, healer classes. So, be able to put them to sleep even if I was, um, i say, an astrologian. I don't know what applies to DPS classes, as they're obviously uh, magical DPS. But uh, all these sort of skills, yeah, it's different for each uh, class. They get a different set of what skills are uh, shareable, as it were, across other classes. 
Right, what else do we have on our hunting log? Uh, forest fungi. I haven't seen any of those lately, but uh, first let's check our map, make sure we're heading the right direction. Need to be going down here to Jadeite Thicket. Oh, there's some more forest fungwas. Maybe we'll uh, get those for the hunting log. Get a little bit of extra experience going. So absolutely scorchingly hot today, I'm guessing uh, that's probably not going to be doing my voices too many favours. So uh, yeah, again, apologies for the sound quality, but it's a bit uh, poor. Uh, one other thing that I should probably mention while I'm at it um, is uh, I want to make a small apology for the length of the last episode. Uh, I wasn't really watching my time all that well to see uh, how long I'd been going on and it ended up becoming an hour long which obviously for a lot of you guys is a little bit on the long side especially as I'm such a uh, new channel and still very much finding my style. Speaking of which, uh, this episode might end up overrun ever so slightly, hopefully not as I've just realised I forgot to set my uh, timer to let me know when, uh, when I get close to the half an hour mark for the cut off. <laughs> right. So, just down here, I believe. Let's get a sprint going on. Oh, Chigo was apparently there, part of my hunting list as well. Lots of hunting targets out here. <laughs> Chigo, how many of those do I need? Three. Do, do, do. Right, let's just find one more Chigo. We'll kill him. And get a few more stones on him. So uh, weak as a uh, healer class, and this time it's not because the. Uh, because the mobs are higher level than me, uh, I'm actually higher level than them. <laughs> Just uh, part and parcel of being the yellow, but I guess that'll uh, pay off once we get to dungeons and get more or less instant dungeon queues. And more uh, targets for our uh, hunting log, the water sprites. I don't know how many we need for those, that's up another quick look. Uh, just free of those. Actually, is it free of everything? Yeah, it's free of everything. There we go. We don't need to keep checking our log in the future for this uh, particular uh, region, I hope. <laughs> Right, let's get another quick look at our map. Uh, we've slightly overshot our uh, location. So I believe it should be kind of this direction. No, we can't get through that. Oh wait, hang on, that hollow tree, we can probably pass through here. Oh, another thing to mention about uh, the Final Fantasy XV mount is um, you have to be at least level 50 and have completed the uh, main story quest line of A Realm Reborn before you can actually uh, unlock that. So if you're lower level than that, you might want to uh, get your socks on and get yourself up to level 15, 50 and uh, complete the MSQ so that you can uh, unlock that stuff. I'll probably be making a small video of it later in the week uh, with my main character who is already uh, level 60 I believe uh, to show you guys what's involved with that. Alright, uh, Galfred, we've got all the equipment that you want to start from last week. Ready for inspection, are we? Right then, eyes forward, back straight. Uh, yes, I think you passed muster. You would be surprised at how many young promising soldiers get themselves killed by pushing off into the woods without first donning a decent set of armour. Your equipment, however, should provide the required degree of protection. Consider yourself ready for duty, Alaric. Okay, uh, I can't use Lancer. Oh, can, right, there's Wes. our uh, wand staff. Ah, Alaric, by your time, tireless efforts, you have proven yourself a friend to Gridania. I believe you can be trusted with sensitive intelligence. I would assign you a mission of considerable import, yet the need for secrecy prevents me from disclosing its details until you have pledged your participation. I am authorised to tell you only that concerns suspicious activity in the Twelveswood. Say that you will lend us your aid and I shall proceed with the briefing.
Good. Time is of the essence, so listen well. You will by now have heard that a suspicious individual has been seen prowling the Twelves Wood. And you may also be aware that a exile activity has risen sharply in the region of late. What you may not know is that this increase coincided almost exactly with the first recorded sighting of the aforementioned individual. Suspecting a connection, we tightened our surveillance in hopes of tracking down our unknown visitor. Alas, our quarry has proven to be exceedingly elusive, almost as if he knows our movements ahead of time. But where whole units have failed, a lone adventurer may yet succeed. Acting independently and covertly, you may be able to close in on our quarry unnoticed. Fear and anxiety are beginning to take their toll upon the citizenry, Alaric. For their sake, I ask that you aid us in this investigation. You have my gratitude. With your help, I am hopeful we will shed light upon this mystery. Begin your search at Life Men's Stump. It is there that the majority of the sightings took place. Be forewarned, my people cannot offer you support, lest our quarry catch scent of our presence and evade us yet again. Proceed with caution. Right, so this is uh, where the main quest line more or less starts in earnest. Things start getting a little bit interesting here, although it's still uh, a little bit on the dull side until the start of Heaven's Ward and a little bit of the tail end of uh, A Realm Reborn. Uh, even die-hard Final Fantasy fans will tell you that the uh, vanilla storyline is a little bit on the plain side. So for now we're going to head down here to Bent Branch Meadow Meadows and get this um, Aphrodite Crystal for uh, teleportation purposes in the future. Should make life a little bit easier. Oh, try and get through this river. Uh, can we jump up here? I think we can. Jumpy jump, jump, jump. Alright. Just over here, and around this corner. Oh, what's he? Uh, is he a summoner, I'm guessing? Right click, examine. Oh no, Scala. Still looks pretty cool. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, up here. And as always, just right click, and that'll attune us to it. Now that's uh, oh, Aphrite. Uh, by learning the spell teleport, able to travel between Aphrites to which you have tuned. Uh, doesn't require mana points to cast. Small fee of gill will be required. Uh, and if you register as a favorite direction, favorite direction, favorite destination will reduce the amount of gill cost to travel there. Uh, up to three favorite destinations can be registered at any one time. So it's uh, just. Teleportation network basic. Don't think it needs to uh, be explained all that much. They'll already cover the basics. Right, let's have a look at our quest log. Uh, trial by Earth Speaking Head, Blessed Bud. Where are you? You are in the other region to where I am at the moment. Uh, I'm chasing shadows. Uh, life men stump. Okay, so we need to be going up here for this one. And I believe this is quite a long cutscene. And it's also a voiced cutscene, I believe, so once I get there, I won't be talking over the top of it, and it'll be able to give my voice a bit of a break. <laughs> do, 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 do. See if we can find any uh, hunting targets along the way. Oh, wait, hang on, we're getting attacked. Do, 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 do. Right back on our way again. Let's see what we can find a way up. There we go. Uh, still on course. Uh, straight ahead and to the right a little bit, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I think we'll uh, get back to you guys uh, once I'm actually there. This is quite a long walk, especially without uh, access to mounts just yet. Right, and we're nearing the location now, just up here and uh, beyond this waterfall.
All right, just up ahead here and uh, click the glowing uh, blade, magic blade. And as I say, this will initiate a voiced cutscene, so I'm going to be quiet for a little bit. Special instances, about in or special instance, these areas are reserved for important battles. Uh, basically, it's a few main story quest lines so that you're not interrupted by other players walking in on your cutscene and uh, ruining the experience a bit for yourself. Uh, you will need to drop a uh, party if you're in a party with uh, friends or whatever when you do these quests, which can be a bit of a pain in the backside, but uh, it's just the way the things work, unfortunately. So let's click proceed and listen in. Yeah, what's the deal with this mysterious blade? Look! Someone's already here! <gasps> oh dear! Is that a sword in the stump? Bad idea. Really bad idea. It takes a lot less than that to incite the green wrath, you know? Why? The first time we came to the Twelves Wood, Is we this almost ended dark up as a stranger? Dinner, just for crashing our airship in the wrong place. It was all Papa Limo's fault, of course. Though, he'd sooner swallow his staff than admit that he's wrong. No, no, not this one! Not even close! Keep on! Hmm. You know him, Kublo Cop? Exactly, but we did once share a carriage. Isn't that right? Pretty cool little uh, eyewear they've got there. How are the readings? Same as the last. There is a disturbance here as well. And newly manifested at that. Kuplo Cop seems convinced of your innocence. But if this isn't your doing, whose is it? Ever since the Calamity, the forest's been really sensitive. The slightest disruption to the etheric flow. And this sort of thing happens. Looks like uh, we're probably going to have to fight these guys. It seems we have little choice. Okay, let's uh, hope we can actually survive this. Stick an arrow on him. Uh, stick an arrow on the other target. And one on him as well. And back to the original. Okay, these aren't uh, as tough as what I was expecting. <laughs> Giant, ugly uh, trees. <laughs> Refresh that arrow. I get the feeling that last guy is uh, going to be considerably tougher. He seems to be a lot larger. Uh, yeah, he definitely seems to have a lot more health. And of course he's level 12 as well, whereas the other guys I think were only level 10 if I was paying attention. Oh god, there's more coming in. I think we'll uh, try and deal with the smaller guys first before going back to the big guy. Oh, 
Oh, and even more of them coming in. Um, this is a bit much, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy, these little uh, frenzied bulbs are quite a nuisance. Uh, can we be able to use... Uh... Oh, get out of that. This is the point where I could really do with some uh, area of effect uh, spells to help try and take care of some of these. <laughs> Let's see, can I use my sleep on one of these guys? Maybe calm things down a touch. Yes, we can. Awesome. Right, looks like we're beginning to get a handle on things again. Where did your arrow go? Okay, never mind here. It didn't really need it. And there's the main one dead. Back to uh, the two uh, strangers. Oh, what's going to happen here? Uh, I think there's a, a bit of voice. Hear, feel, think. What is going on? Is this uh, recreating the Calamity, I'm guessing? Remembering the Calamity? Crystal Bearer was that shone throughout this realm, yet it hath since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. By thy deeds shall the crystals reveal themselves to thee. Only believe, for the light liveth in thy heart. Uh -huh. 
child and shine thy light on all creation. You fainted. A surfeit of ether, no doubt. Hmm. And what have we here? Sally. Our culprit, it would seem, an Ixel. And no ordinary Ixel either. A chieftain. That they would venture this deep into enemy territory. The beastmen may indeed be acting under orders. This is Papalimo. We found How the culprit. How are we feeling then? It was an excellent Better? chieftain. Good. Yes, we'll seek Brother Esumian's cooperation in the matter. Giant no. crystals? Oh, loud. Can't say I've Tactless. seen any. Much the same as are always. Are you sure you're feeling better? Understood. Oh, oops. Kuplo Cop, please bear word of these developments to Brother Esumian. We shall soon return to give a full report. Understood. Over and out. Kupo! Here is where we part ways. Till next time. Take care. I think that sword might be a clue. You should definitely pull it out and take it back to the Bannock. Bye, guys. You don't suppose that adventurer could see Kuplo Cop, do you? And this occurs to you now? <laughs> yes, it seemed that way. Time will tell. Well, time will have to, because you won't. You never tell me what's really going on. Unless <gasps> you don't know what's going on either. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? All right, Excalibur time. Let's uh, pull the sword out of the stone. <laughs> right, that's that done. And uh, now, where were we heading back to? Um, deliver the sword to. Galfred, uh, yeah, back at the Bannock. So we'll just uh, head back there. And we might add this bit out to uh, cut down on the time of the video. Oh, wait, actually, hang on. We can. Uh, oh, no, we haven't said we we'll return to uh, the Bannock yet. Teleport, uh, can we? Right, here we are, back at, uh, Bent Branch Meadows. Uh, is this the Bannock? No, it's not, no, but it's close by. Yeah, probably would have been the same distance if I'd just, uh, walked there anyways. Oh well, never mind, you live and learn. Just as you, uh, remember to turn off, uh, Do Not Disturb mode when you're on Steam so that, uh, you don't get notifications ruining your recordings. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Right, my timer is saying that we're coming up close to uh, the 30 minutes mark, although it's probably slightly over that, as I say I forgot to uh, set the timer away right at the very start of my recording. So we'll hand in this main story quest, and uh, might end it there, or we might travel to the next destination first and then end it there. Oh, 
And here I am doing the unconventional route again. I wish I could remember the normal way into this area. <laughs> Right, uh, Galfred, we've investigated the suspected dude. Elric, it is good to see you back. One of our patrols sent word that you had been spotted doing battle with enraged treants. I am relieved to find you none the worse for the experience. But tell me, what were you able to discover at Life Men's Stump? Uh, this weird sword, let's see. An ornately decorated sword found first in Life Men's Stump. Sword in the stump and a dead Ixal? Hmm. I can say with absolute certainty that this blade is of Ixali origin. It is of a kind used exclusively in the Beastman's rituals. The Ixal rarely set foot in the central shroud, so tight is our guard over the area. What purpose could have driven them to take such a risk? I fear something is afoot. What's that? A dubious couple sport and peculiar spectacles? <laughs> So you have finally been acquainted with Ida and Papalimo. Lay your suspicions to rest, Gridania counts them among her staunchest allies. Both are scholars hailing from a distant land and have been with us since before the Calamity. Their garb may appear outlandish and their exchange is baffling, but never once have they given us cause to doubt them. Indeed, they often assist the Gods Quiver and the Wood Whalers in their work, much as I hope you will do in the days to come, Elric. Although our unknown visitor eludes us still, owing to your efforts we have acquired important intelligence on the Ixali threat. You have my gratitude. We are fortunate indeed to have a capable adventurer such as you aiding us. I pray you will continue to serve the people of Gridania in whatever capacity you are able. Alright, let's complete that. And see where it's sending us next. Oh, right next to him. Uh... Don't need that. Trial by Earth, uh, blessed, but that was back in North Shroud, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, we'll leave that. We'll have a quick look at this uh, main story quest. Elric, injuries to several of my men have left me shorthanded, and I require a capable sort to complete their unfinished duty. The task is simple. Put down as many of the local Chigo population as necessary to acquire three of their exacts. Having done so, you are to deliver them to Monrain Gwyn at Gilbert Spire. He will answer any queries you might have. Now I have other business to attend to. Right, let's see. Is that close by or is it not? Uh, it's fairly close by. But as I say, uh, I'm aware of the fact that the last episode was quite a bit longer than some of you guys would have likely been comfortable with. So we're going to end this episode here and we'll see you guys next time.